This has been through multiple different colors. When I was younger, I used to just throw knives and stuff at things when I was an athlete. Don't worry, this story isn't what you think it's going to be. Walden Cox grew up doing regular things, trust me. He was a basketball player and actually pursued a full-time music job. But 10 years ago, Walden went through a divorce. The therapy method of choice? Axe throwing. It was a li li literal light bulb. Like it legitimately was like a, what? Like really? Really. That light bulb being Cox's decision to pursue axe throwing as a full-time gig. Really. I never would have thought if I could travel back in time to you know, tell myself as a teenager, this is what you'll be doing in your 40s. It's almost insane when you put it on paper that I actually get paid to do this. The pro axe thrower slash coach at Bad Axe Throwing here in Denver is a special kind of hurler, a trick shot master, you could say. He was the champion for the Angry Wood Tournament last year in Oklahoma and creates viral trick shot videos on his Instagram page. This month, Walden went to Atlanta to compete in the World Axe Throwing Championships. He told me he doesn't even know what place he finished in, but that's not the point. The community is great. The fact is that everybody is a good sport about it all the time. Like, that's why I love this sport. Like, honestly, the, one of the most satisfying parts of axe throwing period is stepping back to being this, the coach. And coach did a good job when I was there. Bullseye on the fourth try. We need to work on our COVID high five, though. It legitimately changed my life 100%, and it has the potential to do that for other people as well. And after experiencing this horrendous year, maybe we should all just go throw some axes and relieve some stress. Jacob Toby, 9 News.